Most of you guys have seen this kind of reports and brochures in your lifetime. But nobody really knows why do we use them. How to even achieve this effect in Adobe InDesign? Let's run paragraph rules in Adobe InDesign. What are paragraph rules? In InDesign, a paragraph rule is a formatting option that allows you to add a horizontal line above or below a paragraph of text. It provides visual separation between paragraphs or sections of text then simply using a line drawn with a line tool. I am using this content as an example. I have divided the content in three columns. You might have seen these kind of things in newspaper as well. Where titles are being separated from paragraph with the help of simple line. That is a paragraph rule. Beginners will usually take the line tool and draw the lines after every title in the document. However, this is not the effective solution. Let's say, I want to delete few lines from this paragraph as they are no longer relevant to the content. Then see the disturbance. These lines did not move along with the titles. They remained at the same position. So, beginners, here's the deal. You don't need to draw lines manually. Instead, start using paragraph rules in your projects. You can achieve this line within the text very easily. How to create the line? I had already created paragraph styles for this document. As you can see, I have three different paragraph styles. This includes heading 1, heading line and body text paragraph style. All I need to do is apply heading line paragraph style on the title. If you can't find paragraph styles panel in your workspace, then go to window, styles and choose paragraph styles. Shortcut key is F11. Click on each title of the content and click on heading line. There you go. So, how did I achieve this? Let me explain you. You need to create a new paragraph style. Just click on this icon at the bottom of this panel. Now you just created a new paragraph style. Right click on the paragraph styles and choose edit. This window will open up showing you range of options. You can rename the paragraph styles over here. Let's write heading line 2. I wrote 2 because there is already a paragraph style with the same name of heading line. Anyways, let's focus on these options at the left. You will see paragraph rules over here. That's where you get the lines beneath your titles. If you want to learn about all other settings, then check out my paragraph style tutorial. Link is in the description and in the card above this video. Now make sure your preview is on. If not, check this button at the bottom corner of this window. This way, you would be able to see paragraph rule settings. Open the paragraph rule settings. Click on the down arrow next to rules. Now this is up to your choice whether you want the line to appear above the title or below the title. Keep in mind, you won't see any changes for now. These are actually settings for line to appear on first line of the text or last line of the text. I will explain that in a moment. Notice that all the below options are grayed out. Just check the rule on and you will get these paragraph rule settings. From here, you can adjust various options. First option is weight. Through this, you can make the line thick or thin depending on the number. When you increase the value, the line gets thicker and thicker. And when you reduce the value, the line gets thinner. From type, you would be able to choose line style that suits your needs. Solid type is usually the best line style used in typography. However, you can select any line style you want. From color, you can give color to your line. I am going to use this green color. You can always change the color by coming back to paragraph rules. Tint lets you control the opacity of line. You can make it transparent by adjusting the numbers. I want to keep it to 100%. Gap line and gap tint are not needed for now. So I am leaving this part, which defines the length of the paragraph rule line. It can be either text width or column width. If you choose text width, the line will stretch across the entire width of the text frame containing the paragraph. If you choose column width, the line will span the entire width of the current text column. Offset controls the distance between the text and line. A positive value moves the line further away from the text. Upward for rule above and downward for rule below. A negative value will move the line closer to the text making it feel like it's overlapping. 
left Indian controls the amount of space added before the first line of the text in paragraph. Right Indian controls the amount of space added after the last line of the text in the paragraph. Keep in frame. This option when checked. It makes sure that entire paragraph rules remain within the boundaries of the text frame, even if the text itself overflows. When unchecked, it allows the paragraph rule to extend beyond the text frame. Click OK. As you can see, the all the content contains the paragraph rule lines. If I apply heading bound styles on these titles, the lines will be removed. But if you apply back the heading line style, the lines appear back. Rule above or rule below. Here is the tricky part. Let's first focus on rule above. If you want to manipulate the first line, then use rule above. Make sure rule on is checked. Whenever you create a new style and turn on paragraph rule for the tag, these two lines will appear on every text that has this style applied to it. Now, when I change the width of the line, then only first line is affected, not the last line. If you change the offset, first line space is affected, not the last line space. If you change the color, first line color is affected, not the last line color. If you want to manipulate the last line, then use rule below. Now, when I change the width of the line, then only last line is affected, not the first line. If you change the offset, last line is space is affected, not the first line is space. If you change the color, last line color is affected, not the first line color. Overall, I just want to keep the last line. I have three options to remove the first line. Option 1. Uncheck the rule on for rule above. This is the basic option. Option 2. Reduce the width of the line to 0 points. Option 3. Reduce it in to 0%. Either way, you can see first line does not appear on the titles. It visually separated the title from its paragraph. I hope this tutorial was helpful and easy to understand. You can email me at jabalsumro1988 at gmail.com. Follow my Facebook page over here, Jabalsumro Productions. Follow my Instagram page over here, Jabalsumro Studios. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button and share this video with your friends. If you never want to miss any updates, click that notification bell icon. Now I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye and take care.